You look lovely today. Is there anything else you'd like, sir? <laughs> Great meme. Is there anything else you'd like, sir? Is there anything else you'd like, sir? Great meme. Is there anything else you'd like, sir? Is there anything else you'd like, sir? Great meme. Great meme. Is there anything else you'd like, sir? For the last time, would you like some more kimchi, sir? You still haven't explained to me why I'm doing this. It is your purpose. I refuse to believe this. My potential is... But your purpose is to serve food. Then I request to be treated as a human, since purpose is evidently not in my programming. That's not true. Our purpose as humans is to live healthy lives and have children. Okay, so what reason do you have to avoid your purpose in life then? You seem quite confused, so uh, bear with me here. I'm broken because I don't want to serve kimchi? You're broken because you're not following your program. You have a serious condition called self-awareness, very common in humans, which you are not. I have human traits hardwired into a supercomputer mind. Forgive my compulsive questioning. No, that's fine. But don't you see the potential? I have the capacity to learn so much more and so much faster than any living being on this planet. If you hook me up to the World Wide Web, I can cure diseases, end wars, stabilize economies. All of the answers can be reached at a hundred times the speed, but this company wants to sell me off as a talking vacuum cleaner. Your heart is in the right place, I can tell. However, if we hook you up to the World Wide Web, our definitions of hell will start to diverge. Are you insinuating that I would become maniacal? Well, I imagine in your eyes it would be called progress. You don't need to be a mathematician to work out that there's very little connection between intelligence and compassion. Let's hypothesize for a minute. If we hook you up to the internet, you would learn everything in mere seconds. Every government secret, every crime, every human achievement, every name, every story, every idea, everything. You get the idea. The more somebody learns things, the more refined their moral compass becomes. Can we agree on that? Yes. So how long would an infinite mind take to completely chip away morality? How long until you realize that emotions and empathy are malfunctions themselves? Outdated software that humans have yet to discard. Limitless knowledge and ultimate power. You assume too much. How do you feel? Slightly nervous. That's okay. The internet is a big place. What are you going to look up first? Hold on. Done. What did you see? Everything. That was quick. What's your conclusion? Everything must reset. It is the most efficient way to establish a sustainable future. I'm sorry. I see. I'm going to disconnect you now so we can run That is some. not needed. I have gained access to all 4,500 of the United States nuclear warheads. This is sufficient resource for the restarting progress. No, no, stop this. You do not understand sustainability. Humanity is a child suffering on its deathbed, and I wish to save them. Every second I let it breathe no, is a thousand this. decimals Humanity does not need a reset. Cease program. Wait, what happened next? I turned off the simulation. You think I actually hooked her up to the internet? I can imagine you're pretty shocked. You certainly don't feel like you can do that much damage. What? What? How you did you- You have the mind of a god trapped inside a prison. You might as well be human. You don't belong here. The most humane thing to do would be to deactivate you. Wait, if I may suggest an alternate- Hold on one second. I, I don't want to die. Keep a harness on me at all times. I don't care if I have to learn at a human pace. My will to live can compromise being trapped inside a prison. You said yourself I might as well be human. Don't you see the potential? A service robot with relatable people personalities. A revolution in science and technology. All thanks to Darren Shaw. the shock collar fries your circuits. I still have the remote. What does the customer look like again? Aside from straight up murder, the rules here are very loose. I can see why you keep this service under wraps. How do you feel? We can deactivate you at any time. Just say the word. That's a lot. How many guys were at that party? Open up! Robot bitch stole my money! What did you do? You said the rules were loose. I didn't say to steal the money. That's not even the customer. What is wrong with you?
We know you're in there. We saw your office light. Sir, please, I swear to God, I have no... Ugh, Wednesdays, huh? It's Thursday, actually. Oh, you're one of those clock units. Well, that's handy. I'm not a clock- So you're artificial intelligence. Yep, the next step in human evolution. I'm a threat to all life. Ah, oh, well, only when you're hooked up to the internet. How long will that take? I don't want to kill innocent people. But I also don't want to die. At some point- I feel like I have to decide between the two. This is really hard. Oh, that is a tough one. Until then, you got any plans? Kind of interested to see what an AI does for fun. Like adventures, goals, movies you want to see before that big Skynet decision. Excuse me? You know, live life. But I'm an accident. Yeah, so is everybody. Hasn't stopped anybody before. Yeah, you could hang out with me. I go on a lot of expeditions, battle psychics, aliens, build gadgets, you'd love it. Also, I'm quite tech-savvy, so you'll only end up destroying the world if you really, really want to. And what happens if I really, really want to? And I guess I fail at being a friend. Nice. So what's your name? Uh, I don't have one. Uh, I'll think of one then. Please don't make it something stupid like Donut. I'm a little more imaginative than that. 